Hi everybody, good morning. This is Jean here. Um, I've been talking about my hourglass block quilt that I've been making and I have finished it. Don't I look professional? It's hanging up here on my wall just to show you what I've done. This is a fabric line that I got from Connecting Threads. Um, very nice fabric but at an inexpensive price. Um, when I looked at it in the catalog I thought it looked more like a country western look but actually when I got it home because I didn't look at it very carefully it's actually more of a an Asian inspired. There's um, Japanese writing here and like lotus leaves um, and then this is a this blue uh, stitching here is actually called I think it's Shibuki, Shib Shikuro or Shikuro embroidery. Um, indigenous to the uh, Asian um, quilt making. So I, I, it was really pretty when I got it home. I thought, oh, isn't that pretty? So I've made this quilt from it. This is the hourglass quilt block. Um, I'll be showing you with a different fabric how I've actually constructed this block here. This ends up about five or six inches big here and it's made up of four different triangles. This block is constructed the same way, the same principle as the pinwheel block. If you remember, we made the pinwheel block um, out, of, out of the two 10 inch squares of fabric. So I'll be showing you that in a few moments. Um, a, a little bit later in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you the last few days as I've been quilting this. I have a clip here and a clip there and a clip there. Hopefully we can put it all together of how I actually um, quilted this, uh, this quilt. Uh, sandwiched it, backed it, quilted it, and bound it. Um, just very tiny, just a few minute m tutorials. I used the actual uh, blue fabric of, of the, um, one of the prints in here for the backing. And if you notice, as I explain later, I've, I use an ombre color fabric for the binding. And I explain that a little bit later. It just gets, a, it just has a little bit more interest. As usual, I round the corners of all of my quilts um, because I don't really know how to miter and I'm not all that bothered. So again, this, this is the, um, the hourglass block quilt. This is constructed by rows. This is not constructed by blocks. It's constructed very easily. You construct these, these blocks and then you attach them in rows and I will be showing you. Now a lot of people have been watching my tutorials and saying, I never realized, it's saying, oh my word, you go so fast and your fingers are so close to the needle. And actually when I was watching my videos back, I thought, oh, my fingers are really close to the needle. Um, and I'm thinking, as a beginner, you do not want that needle to go through your finger. In all my 50 plus years of sewing, that's never happened to me, miraculously. Um, I'm not being cavalier by saying, oh, it's never going to happen. It could. I've never sewn my finger. I have cut my finger off, uh, as I told you before. Um, so, and this finger, I don't have a lot of feeling in it. And it's a, it's a little bit, it's a little bit chopped off the, the top of it. It was, it was horrible. I've never sewn it. So... What I'm saying this for is when you go to construct your rows, this corner, this intersection here has quite a few um, seams, again, coming together. We talked about the seam coming together on the actual block, which is not your problem. It is when you try to sew the rows. This is an easy quilt to put together, but you will notice and I don't want you to think it's just you as a beginner, you will notice that when you come to these intersections, it's like, oh, trying to get these, you know, they should be nested together, as I'll, I'll show you, but trying to get that, to this, this lump of, of uh, seams together. Um, you may want to just stop a little bit and turn your wheel towards you and then carefully, almost like, you know, stitch by stitch by stitch go uh, help these through instead of trying to shove them together, sh trying to shove them under the needle. As we construct it, as you construct it, you'll see what I mean. It's an easy quilt. It's made up so pretty. What I've done is, um, this is 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven rows, seven squares across by nine down. Again, in my, later on in the video, you'll see me when I'm sandwich, sandwiching it together. Perhaps you want to start out by making just maybe five by six, just for a small baby quilt. This was about three charm, charm square packs. Charm square packs are five inches. I'm going to be doing a demonstration with um, just some solids charm squares that I'll be showing you in just a moment how I construct this block. So you can either buy charm squares, five inches, that makes up this size, or you can start cutting out your own fabrics. This particular pattern, I like the hourglass, because if you have a ton of scraps uh, from other projects, usually you gravitate towards what you like to make anyway. If you have a ton of scraps, it makes a wonderful scrappy quilt because of the construction method. So this is our hourglass block, uh, hourglass block quilt that I've made here, um, and I will be showing you how to construct it. And uh, yeah, so and actually, I want to say this this video uh, is is a, a a result of about five or six or seven videos clipped together the last few days. As I said, I've been I've been sewing a little bit here, sewing a little bit there. I've had my son, couple sons videotaping me, me, um, so bear with me, but the end product is this actual quilt here, but I'll be showing you how different it comes out in, in this case, some pastel fabrics. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to start sewing this block and showing you how to do it. All right, so here I am. I'm going to be showing you how to construct this hourglass block quilt. What I have used here, instead of my darker fabrics, to make it really change it up, like you can change up uh, fabric. Fabric changes a quilt unbelievably. Everybody's quilt ends up their absolute own. Um, for this quilt, I'm just going to be using a Charm Square pack from Kona Cottons. Uh, cotton, it's a pastel cotton. Uh, they come 41 pieces in a pack. Um, and they are pre-cut with pinked edges. The pinking... Edge, the pinked edges that have the um, little the cuts on the edge. Now, if you've referred back to my pinwheel block uh, quilt block that we were making, it's the exact same principle. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be sewing two 10-inch uh, two squares together. But we're going to start out because this is just a little bit different. So what I do is I lay out my fabrics, and what I do is I literally just pull fabric pieces and we're going to be, what we're going to be needing to do is we're going to be making a four, a four square patch. One, two, three, four. So I'm going to literally be chain piecing a few pieces together. So here's one, one block. Just bear with me. Now I'm just going to be chain piecing. I'm going to start my quarter inch seam. Now my quarter inch seam is going to start at the very top and remember you have your quarter inch foot and my quarter inch foot on the edge is on the it rides on the edge of this pinked edge here. It's going to ride right there. So I start my quarter inch seam and I'm going to ride hold these this is, you know, right sides together whatever fabric, but this is just this is just I just put it together. So I'm just going to do this along here. I'm just sewing my charm squares together. Now my machine, if you can see that, I have an automatic foot lifter, which is unbelievably helpful. So if you have older machines, you come to the edge, you have to lift up your presser foot, which is fine. And then this is called chain piecing. Instead of doing that and stopping and starting, you just lift your foot up, and then mine goes down automatically. And then, whoops, and you want to go, tuck that right under there, quarter inch, and then you just stitch it along. And, and you literally are chaining them together. Now my quarter inch, come to the end, I grab two, grab two more squares, whatever color, I'm not bothered. Push that under my presser foot. Get those little dots in there. Quarter inch along. I'll just get two more pretty colors here. 
quarter inch. So now I've literally made four blocks. And, I, and see how they're chained together? So I go along and I cut that thread. Now just like the pinwheel block, I'm going to take these over to my, sign, my ironing board. And just like my pinwheel block, remember I set those, I set those seams. Very important you set those seams for, I don't know why, but you're supposed to. So here you go. Um, it doesn't matter, light, dark, light, dark. Just roll that over. Remember how we did that? You want to roll that seam. You know how I am, like, with, with pressing and ironing. I iron things within an inch of their life. You want to roll that seam over to make it really nice. You want to roll that right over. On the, I like to iron on the front of the fabric so I don't get those nasty little tucks if I did it from the back. Again, I want to roll that right over there. So now I have, I have four, I have uh, four units here. So I'll show you what I do with these. I come back to my machine and I have, there are four patches. So remember I've, I've ironed the seams. Again, this is just random. I want to nest these seams together. So I take this. Remember, they're perfectly cut from the manufacturer. I nest these seams together. Look how well they go. One seam goes this way. That seam goes that way. I pinch it. And because they're so well cut and manufactured, and when you cut your own, be very, you know, do, do it very precise. I go along, starting my quarter inch seam along here pinching those seams together, go right along, and I, do, I take my neck squares, this seam's going that way, so I want this seam to go that way. See how they've nested? So you can just start chain piecing. Let that go right under your presser foot. They've gone together so beautifully over that little intersection and all you have created is what's called a nine patch. They're chained together. You just cut them apart. I'm all for cutting off my my um, raggly threads. So you, I take this over to my ironing board yet again and again set my seams and then roll roll that right over you want to push that nicely and then you want to just roll that right up and i have made a perfect four patch block here i tuck that up and i just want to roll that edge that seam right up i want to roll that i've made that a nice four patch block so what do I end up with? It's not rocket science here. I've ended up with two 10 inch squares. So what I want to do is I treat it exactly like my pinwheel block. Remember, I had my pinwheel block. So what I do is I want to make sure these seams are nested. Take it back to my, ma my machine. Remember how we did the, we made almost like half square triangles. Well, this is making the hourglass block. So I have these two four patches of fabric with the pinked edges cut perfectly by the manufacturer. I'm nesting this seam. This seam is going this way. This seam is going that way. Pinching it together. And I'm starting. Remember how we did that? We started a quarter inch from the end. I did watch a tutorial actually, and um, I think it was Jenny Doan. She just started at the end. I guess you could do that, but this is how I do it. I'm trying to be really precise here. So I put my presser foot down, quarter of an inch in. And this is important. Remember, we, we, we stitch right around the edge. 
And if you're new to this, if this is what you're starting out, you're thinking, what in the world am I making here? Oh, why did that stop? What? So you stitch right to the edge, maybe a quarter, there you go, my quarter inch foot. Look how well that's nested there, that little seam. The fabric's doing it, its work itself. My quarter inch seam. Going along to the edge, quarter of an inch. My machine's acting up. What's, it, what's wrong? Uh, to there. Lift my thread. My, lift my presser foot. Oh, there's two blues together, but that's okay. What the hell's going on? Um, oh no, my machine's acting up. Oh, my machine is acting up. Oh no, flipping out. Oh, anyway, the machine's acting up. So I go there, I go to the quarter inch, and I turn my fabric. Remember, I always had my needle down. This is nested beautifully. I'm coming to the end. Coming to the end of my my square, I do want to just get that little bit of stitching there, and I'm finished. Now this is where the miracle happens. So I've made a couple of these blocks, and what I've wanted to show you, I've, I'm not working for fist cars, but I really like this this ruler roller blade combo. I've shown it to you before in another video. Uh, six inch by twenty four inch ruler, and for this actual block. You can use your rotary cutter and your ruler, but I really like this. Now, what, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to cut. Remember our pinwheel block? We cut from end to end. What I like to do, this ruler's particularly, the edge is right on that, that quarter inch stitching, right, right near the stitching, right at the edge of the stitching. Because, and I'm not worried about the center block. I don't know what the center block is doing, right? I'm worried about the corner to the corner. So this lump here, I hope it, I hope it turns out well. You go from this corner stitching quarter inch to this stitching quarter inch. And with this wonderful ruler, I can hold it carefully. I can pull my ruler edge back and I just go like that. And it slices right on through that middle. Now, remember we lifted it and I go from quarter inch point here to quarter inch stitching there. I'm not worried about what's going on in here. I hold it tightly, I come back, I press down. Now, remember my other one, <laughs> my rotary cutter was dull, but this should be like, hopefully it worked. This should be like, what did it make? Oh yeah, yeah. So what, did I, what have I made? Oh, oh, look at that. Can you believe that? My trusty ruler let me down again. Everything's screwing up on me today. Anyway, yeah, so it makes, it makes perfect hourglass blocks. Look at that. Hourglass blocks with a perfect intersection right there. Perfect hourglass blocks. Well, let me try it again. Here's some brighter fabrics. So I've done this again because I think this is a miracle. Remember, edge point to point. I'm going to really push it down hard. So I'm not worried about this. I'm going to, I'm doing it right. When you do it, do it real precise. Get in that stitching seam and you push it and then you come back, make sure it's all stayed together. And then you do that and edge to edge, you push it and then you go to separate them and look at that. Look at that. Perfect hourglass, hourglass blocks. I want to do it again. So cool. So here's another one. Sorry. This is so exciting. These are going to be addictive. Point to point. Get your rotary cutter out. Nice right through that center right there because it's all, it can be all jacked up. Point to point. Look how quickly I've made so many blocks. Down. Put your, take your thing, and then look, your hourglass blocks. 
beautiful blocks. Look at all them. That's just with three three blocks. I've made I made that that lot. Now when you go to sew them together, um, I, I what I like to do is I, I'll I'll set the seams, I'll roll them and I'll press them. And as I did before, excuse me, oh, my boobs all over the place. Um, I will take away. Remember this little dog ear. I'll take away that corner after they're all pressed nicely. I won't show you that, you can do that. You roll them over, you, you take away those little dog ears, and then you start sewing them together to whatever um, color ways you like. You press them, they're all the same size, and then you just put your color ways, and then these, these seams, once they're all ironed, these seams nest together. Again, everything nests together so beautifully. Look, that nests together. And you just go along a quarter of an inch, right along. Your, your, your seams will nest together beautifully. And there's your rows. You just start putting your rows together, your rows together. Your, I'm sorry, your squares together. So here's your little, say five of them. How sweet is that? And then you want to attach, and then you want to start with your rows. Um, and remember, as I was saying, I won't be going over it because I, this is going to go on too long. But remember what I was saying: this intersection here, you want to, you want to, you want to iron all of these these seams over that way on that row, and then iron all of these seams over that way on that row. And then when you go to sew them together, so row by row. You want to, this, this here, this, this intersection here is going to be a little bit, it may be, a little bit, a lot of fabric in there. But you'll be okay. Nest them, pin them, and then if you have to, because there's a lot, just turn your wheel slowly to get over that lump if you, just, if you find that that happens. Um, but look at that. There's just a few, uh, there's just, look at this, how quickly that made up. A lovely, delightful little pastel quilt. I could even just bind that. It's a little, literally a little tiny quilt with just um, one pack of charm squares for a newborn baby. And that's just solid fabric. Or I could put a little border on it of a pretty fabric that I would choose. Um, but there it is. There's your hourglass block. Um, again, there's my finished quilt over there. Um, it makes up, it's really an awesome little pattern. As I said, scrappy makes up quickly it looks like you know what you're doing um and and we're going to getting to the point where you know what you're doing and we're doing a little bit more of an interesting an interesting block okay. you go so i finished my hour block uh hour glass block quilts start start over <laughs> okay. so everybody i finished my hourglass block quilts which there you go there's the quilt block you start sewing the rows, stitch it, rows together, and you end up with a pretty little quilt. Um, I've gone back and I've gone into Windows Live Movie Maker. The movie is miles too long to show you the tutorial of me actually quilting this. So I will be um, doing another video later on of me actually, little bits here and there, actually quilting this quilt. Sandwiching, quilting it, as I've said. But it's miles too long. Um, Again, there you go. There's the hourglass block quilt. I appreciate you coming into my sewing room and following along with me. So good luck. Have all the, you know, have at it. Um, it's a little bit of a more interesting block and um, you can do this. So thanks again, folks. Bye.